Hi, good morning. I, I woke up especially early to capture the scene in my garden because of the morning light, so I wanted to share that with you. Here goes. Okay, there's my place and my porch with my plants. <laughs> It's really cool and there's somebody who lives up there on the second floor. It's kind of like a duplex and this is Daga, the compound dog. That's my garden over there. Actually, it's in the works but all the plants that you see on the ground were planted by me. <laughs> Here's some of my plants that I've brought from the apartment and I just like this used to be just all rocks like piled on top of each other and what I did was I did a little landscaping and I thought that like the rocks are really beautiful these are from the ocean and they've been here forever and I've planted some local flowers that I just found on the on the sidewalk and they have like periwinkle blue flowers and the locals were like asking me why you want to plant that those are weeds I'm like yeah they're weeds but they're beautiful weeds and I think that any weed is better than nothing right there are some also I planted um, some flowering like shrub that I had made cuttings from my own plant right there it has yellow flowers it's this one I don't know it's called a Vietnam rose and the flowers open up in the daytime and they close at dusk and I've made cuttings out of them and just planted some on the borders of the rocks I landscaped this one just so it could have like an organic you know it, it, there used to be none of that so what I did is I got some rocks here and I made a path that's winding so you know it'll look nice rather than a straight like thing and I have asked some vines from the neighbors uh, cuttings and I've planted some cuttings here also and just dispersed the flowering plants and these coleus I asked from neighbors I didn't everything that's planted on this garden are all snippets from neighbors and like plants I've gotten from the street there's this particular seedlings that just sprouted from my ferns and this is the first time I'm seeing them I don't know what they are but I suspect they're vegetables maybe chili I had a lot a whole lot in in my my pot so I was like you know what I'm not gonna throw this away I am going to plant each and every one because I had a I had a bunch seriously that I had to take out so I planted them all individually all over on the borders <laughs> you can see over there too <laughs> like look at that like an army <laughs> and that one I planted that vine there too because that tree is too beautiful and then over here I found some cactus uh, cuttings on the beach like how weird is that to get some cactus snippets on the beach that was too weird for me so I took them and I planted it you know me with the experiments I like to make experiments this is the way that goes to the ocean right there so all I have to do is get out my door and walk that way and that is where the beach is let me show you. there you go see that blue over there when I get up the stairs that's ocean already the coolest that's really close and that's why I can hear it all the way in my room.
I'm gonna have some coffee and I'll show you a tour of my room. Hold up, let me show you one more thing. I put some of my fern up there on the tree also. And this is where I hang my bathing suit and my wet clothes when I get back. I got this, this beautiful bow <laughs> that washed up on the beach and I tied it here with some nylon string. I wanted to hang some more installations, but this is my beautiful clothes rack. And I've also hung like a nest over there. See that? That I, I've been having when I was living in the city for some reason. Why did I buy a bird's nest? It was just beautiful. So now I have a reason to hang it and there's a piece of dried up squid something that you buy in the pet shop that birds love so I've hung some on that I got a whole piece from the ocean and I also hung some on that side here let me show you it is I've hung some here for the birds to eat cool mess yeah So yes, that is my patio over there. It's such a beautiful view in the morning when the sunlight hits this area and when, when I go out there, that goes all the way to the main street outside. So we're kind of inside. I'm not out where the traffic is, which is so awesome. Okay, let's go inside my space shall we here in the entrance okay this is my little patio where I have my look at this I found this wood from um, the beach and I put it here in this hole just like so and now I can hang my beach hat on it <laughs> so easy isn't it and i have my collection of driftwood i am a driftwood hoarder and i found all these interesting shapes i know it's crazy to some people but i'm going to make some uh some installations with these they're all like i think it's gorgeous i don't know what this is i think it's part of a bamboo root and i've found a lot of this in the beach that just laying there and I thought they're just too beautiful to pass up. I'm gonna put this in the wall or something. I'll think of something. And there are these nice, look at these shapes. I mean, I used to collect like stuff from the park that were just straight or curvy, but I know I'll be able to make something out of these pieces. My ferns are here and this is my view outside beautiful i love the clothes hanging outside i think it's so colorful all right let's go inside <laughs> Cha -cha! there it is i've painted the walls yellow finished my yellow wall now I'm gonna start the blue one and I'm gonna put layers so I wanted to document this <laughs> work area is the same setup because I like I told you I was able to bring all my furniture which was wonderful because I don't have to buy anything and everything fits perfectly in this space so I decided to paint the walls 
a nice teal because this is a color that I also see in the ocean and it's one of my favorite colors and I did not even out the layers I did everything in layers and some are lighter some are darker so it will have some nice texture and nice shade so it's not just a flat color so what I did was I just diluted the the paint with water and I applied it by layers like watercolor so our watercolor scales are coming into play but I've always had this uh, thing with um, painting my walls wherever I go and I was so lucky and blessed to have a, such a very understanding landlord who allowed me my creative freedom this is what I can do this is what I've been deciding to do with the driftwood see this hanging installation this is all driftwood that I collected from the beach it's wonderful isn't it and my crystal collection is sitting here nicely they have a nice house I have a window out here where I hang some scarves to soften the look my kitchen over there uh, still have to um, put some like a nice scarf curtain down there and I've hung some of my paintings already look at that they are loving the yellow walls this is a belt that I got from one of my thrifted clothes and as you can see here it's a nice blue when we walk over this is the front of the apartment from my kitchen the blue sits nicely over there too and over here I have my collection of shells the shells that I collected and interesting stones and mind you I only collect shells that have holes that cannot be lived in anymore by the crabs or the small sea creatures that live in these shells so I only get the ones that are uninhabitable I want to make some jewelry out of this later on but it's so wonderful that you can see once they have disintegrated you can see how beautiful that how are shells made I have to Google that they're so beautiful inside look at that isn't that amazing gorgeous and they were just laying in the beach so I just figured oh I'm gonna collect these nobody wants them so I have put them out here look at this beautiful patterns So they are all sitting nicely and you know it is my garlic this is the speciality one of the specialities in this region is native garlic they're smaller and they braid them and that's how they're sold yeah, even the packaging is just really really gorgeous native garlic is so good because it's non-gmo it's smaller it's more potent and it's great for your immunity here's another installation that i made with the driftwood hanging on nylon strings so you don't see this train it looks like it's just floating there like little stuff like that that you can put all around so i've had the shells on the window sills you know and i wanted to show you something that a treasure that I found that was given to me by Mama Nature. Every time, look at that, it's a seed heart and this is rare because this seed comes from a tree that grows in the forest. It grows around um, like, how perfect is, that's a seed, it's a natural seed. If you plant this, this will grow but they are treasure and I love this because they grow along the river banks and um, in the mountains and they fall on the river and they flow they make this journey they flow uh, from the river to the oceans and it makes its way 
for hundreds of miles in the ocean and they travel and they get washed up ashore if you're lucky you can find one and every time I go to um, the ocean to collect trash I'm always gifted this is what I I believe I'm always gifted with a special treat it could be a beautiful piece of hardwood or a very nice shell and this was what I found yesterday I was so happy to find this this is gold to me and I'm gonna make a pendant out of this and um, put some copper wire or something but I love this I love it. <laughs> to the rooms so I have two rooms big rooms and this is what I'm going to do I'm going to make this a studio the light comes in really nicely yeah. and I'm gonna paint this a nice like a lilac with pink all around so you can see it's white right now but I'm gonna document and transform this is gonna be my studio where I will hang my paintings and the thrifted clothes that I made and I have another room here which um, for now is a storeroom but I'm gonna make something out of that and this is where I sleep right now because for some reason I always prefer to to make the biggest room which is always the living room into my living space so it's an actual living space because I actually sleep here that couch converts into a bed and this is where I can hear the ocean I don't know if you can hear it right now it's a really powerful rumbling of the waves and it's especially at night it's so awesome I don't even need um, to put on some water or ocean music for sleeping because I can actually hear the waves I don't know if you can hear this it's so awesome and it's really really loud at night not loud unpleasant it's wonderful because I know it's the waves so that is my tour right now for my house and my next project will be that room right there I'm gonna paint that a nice lilac if you can see that's my view but I'm so happy and I really waited to transform this room before I could show it to you because I wanted you to see what I did with my space and you can also do that too a little bit of color goes a long long way even if you just paint one wall like I did here just one wall can make a whole lot of difference so don't be scared you can pick up the roller brush and start painting my advice is that when you're painting cement walls um, dilute it with water so you can layer it and you can control the the shading and the intensity of the color that you want as opposed to just directly painting it from the can so dilute it with a little bit of water if it's water-based and then you can let it dry and keep adding as you go along and it's nice not to have a flat texture like i did with my walls here they're not even so it looks like the water or some light um light spaces there are some dark ones and it's nice because when the light hits it it's uh, different textures okay we're gonna go outside i'm gonna show you the way out and i'm gonna tour you on my little village all right let's go see you later guys cucumber and this is my bag I have <clears throat> my bag for collecting trash and my hat let's take the 
tour. <laughs> All right. Stepping out. This is my view. Going out. My place. All right. This way, we're going out to the beach. There's a little alley here where I walk through. These are my neighbors. So cool. Can you hear it? The ocean is right there. Get up the stairs. Here we are. <laughs> Gorgeous. And there is, yes, there is a cafe out here. Right at my doorstep. Where I can eat and friends who visit can stay out here. Also, you know what's so cool about this place? Native house made of bamboo. You know what's so cool about this place? When I was in the city manifesting for like a place to live in, I've always thought of, oh, I want to have this special tree. I imagined that I would get a house where there is this special tree called a talisai. And I said, I'm going to have a house that has a Talisai tree next to it because these trees grow by the beach. So if I have one, it's definitely going to be near the ocean. And I do. I have two of them right next to my house. And, you know, in my past video, I was thinking of like, I wanted to think of something that I can do that creatively make money from. And it just dawned on me, which I spoke with the cafe owner um, last night. I'm going to hold an art session and post it on Facebook. And I'm going to do it here in this cafe so it's open. And isn't it wonderful how things work out that way? So we'll see how that goes. I think it's going to be quite awesome. Okay, let me give you a view of the surfers. It's 10 o'clock right now. You can see there are some surfers going out to the open right now. You see them? Isn't that cool? And there's some over here too. <laughs> uh, making their way out. And there are quite a few people out. It's my first time to come out here at this time i usually come out at lunchtime there are less people but right now it's saturday 10 o'clock and it's pretty busy there's the village people surfing there's some kids playing and there's some people out there gorgeous isn't it look at all these shells so if i see anything um on the shoreline like plastic debris, I pick it up. That's why I have my bag. That is my outside. My back door. <laughs> Amazing. There's some um, spear fishing going on here. The best. And a lot of people do line fishing as well. And I've actually offered to buy some of their fish. Because... <laughs> Nothing better than blind fished seafood that is done sustainably, isn't it? Hi, Kuya. May huli? Wala pa. Ay, sa Look at this. There's a toy here. Does anybody own this? Because I'm going to take this right now. Interesting that this washed up. Isn't that cool? You want this? What's Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. So he's a spear fishing guy. <laughs> Amazing. Isn't that cool? And out here there are flowers that 
grow wild like i'm telling you wild is beautiful purple flowers that are here on they just dot the whole you know the coastline like i noticed these things they're gorgeous look at that wild flowers and purple my favorite 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 color that's the color i'm gonna paint my walls with beautiful isn't it oh my god how can you not be amazed hi flowers you're beautiful <laughs> okay so we're gonna make our way here this is my beach and don't you find the weirdest things right now look at this this is probably from the line fisherman he left his flashlight I find this and the flashlight I'm pretty sure this is his I am pretty sure does it work the weirdest things isn't it wonderful is this for me let me offer it to him look at that beautiful I mean this is art look at that fishing boat uh, it's under repair the owner told me that he's still fixing it but my favorite color isn't that gorgeous look at those lines like these are the beautiful things that I love I love them very simple stuff but stunning to me okay here this is what I'm talking about the debris it's nice and these are small things but they do add up that trash this goes back into the ocean and it's colorful catches the the eyes of a turtle or some sea creature they eat it and boom choke this is another one I was talk, telling you about plastic see it looks like jellyfish bobbing in the water so this is the kind of stuff that needs to be fished out because not cool there are days when there are lots and there are days when there's none but at this time when it's low tide and that's why I love coming out here at this time is because it's low tide and that's when these things get washed up from the night before it's so gorgeous out here enjoy love you bye